Hi, my name is Kelly, and I am absolutely hooked on the AI text-to-image generator known as Leonardo. I know it can feel as though you're falling into a deep pit of wasted time trying to learn a new tool. Well, let me make this easier for you. Leonardo has a Discord server, and every day, they release a new challenge. These challenges will help hone your skills to be the best prompt artist you can be. Leonardo is a free-to-use AI tool that is web-based. As a free user, you are allotted 150 tokens a day to spend on image creation. There are also subscriber tiers for extra benefits. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first. This is the Leonardo Discord server. These are challenges that we've been doing. We're up to 114 of them. Today's is Ancient Artifacts. And as you can see, there have been a lot of posts here, and a lot of them are really cool. Um, we go in and we vote using the Leonardo logo, token, that's what we call it, um, to vote for. And the person with the most Leonardo votes ends up winning the challenge for the day, and they win 500 tokens for first, 300 tokens for second, and 200 tokens for third. You're allowed to submit five images per user. Um, they need to be submitted individually and separate like that so that we can vote on them instead of all six of them in a row. Um, you can only vote on one post, right? So if you have two images here, this one and that one, and, and one here, you can still only vote for the one post instead of being able to individually vote for each image. Um, other than that, you just kind of read the instructions, you know, what, what they're looking for for the day. The challenge is basically anything of antiquity. You know, ancient artifacts. So, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, I, I remember those. Kind of dates me a little bit, doesn't it? But anyway, so I figured I'd show you guys exactly what I go and do, how I get ready and, and make these images for these challenges. Um, really the first thing that comes to, uh, the, the first thing that you really have to do is, is think about what it is that you want to see. When ancient art, well, let, let's pick something different. Let's pick something that's already been done. Um, actually, we can go up into the community challenges and we'll pick something in here. Um, just knit it yeah knitting and crochet okay let's have fun with this all right so we've got you can, anything that you want to do in knitting or crocheted images right so we'll, we'll do this <clears throat> task is simple post your best knitted or crocheted generative art pieces here let's see what you can knit today so I know that I'm going to be looking for something crocheted or knitted, right? I'm going to go into into ChatGPT, and I have a pre-written-up script that I use to ask ChatGPT to help aid me in the creation of the prompts that I'm looking for. And when I ask it, it, it will give me four different prompt, imagine, you know, imaginative prompts. So, let's see, I know I want something crocheted, right? So let's do crochet. I can't even spell. Cro... How was that spelled, anyway? C-H-E-T. Crocheted, um, and then, then you got to think about okay, well, what is it that we'd like to see crocheted? How about a Spanish galleon, you know, a big giant ship, one of those ones with a bunch of sails? Um, and then we'll say in a tropical. Yeah, in a tropical environment. Right, to give it a background. 
So then this will pop up those four imaginative prompts that I asked it to create for me. Two of them are photorealistic. Two of them are artistic. Um, we could go with either in this particular instance because you can take a picture of something set in you know, a, a crocheted galleon or we can we can have it created right I mean granted it's AI so everything here is created but one's going to be photorealistic the other one's going to be digitally illustrated right so this is a photorealistic image of a crocheted Spanish galleon anchored at a picturesque tropical beach with meticulous attention to detail on the crocheted texture and the realistic beach scape I don't I don't like how it doesn't know that but it is what it is limited to its use right um, and the realistic beach scene yeah use soft natural lighting to create a serene atmosphere inspiration cro crochet craftsmanship and tropical getaways and since this is photorealistic I'm gonna leave it on absolute re absolute reality version 1.6 I'm gonna put it on the photography render there I make sure this is at 65 I love my prompt magic strength all the way up on version 3 um, and let's keep this let's see crocheted Spanish guy yeah let's keep this in a landscape format and I'm gonna hit this is gonna print off to uh, 20 tokens here um, to get four images created to me that just seems like a the middle of the road you know you don't feel like you're wasting too many tokens if you lose your spin here um, but I think it's a good enough amount to, to, to be able to pick and choose from so what are we gonna get here so very cool um, nothing is in the water which I wouldn't expect because it's crocheted right but it's a very very cool image I mean it did a fantastic job it's got the rigging even the rocks here are, <laughs> are crocheted in with some real palm trees, real sand, all of that. Let's see what the other ones look like. Yeah, same thing. This has a little bit of crocheted sand on the bottom there, which I don't really like. This is a, apparently a, a, a fault of Firefox. Um, you have a certain amount of time to view everything or else you have to go back into your personal feed to view them in large scale from there come on now again not a, not a Leonardo issue a Firefox issue that one's pretty cool there looks like some some they dropped a couple of balls of yarn Oh, I think that one might be my I don't know those sales are a little strange there huh? but there you go so you can see what I'm doing here now let's try a different one let's uh let's do an artistic render and see what the artistic render will make a different uh, will do as a difference Artistic rendering of a crocheted Spanish galleon set against a surreal tropical sunset, creating a dreamlike and symbolic composition that blends the handmade craft with the beauty of nature. Employ warm, surreal lighting to convey a sense of magic, inspiration, crocheted art, and sunset dreams. Now this isn't a phot photography, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it on dynamic. Dynamic usually works the best for me with absolute reality. Again, I have version 3 prompt magic turned on, alchemy turned on, and prompt strength is up to 0.65. I think these turned out really nice. I think I would have submitted one of these. I wish that didn't have the all the sand crochet on the bottom because I love the pattern here versus the other ones. Oh, look at this one. That looks good there, huh? That looks really good a little bit of wind blowing I don't like how it's ripped right here I wish it would have been not attached here and there but I love this this looks beautiful 
Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, again, nice. This one I like. They even did the palm trees in, in crochet here. Turned out nice. This isn't, but everything else is. Sand and crochet. I have to go out and look at those in the personal feed. Sitting on real rocks here. This is cool. I like it. Same thing, palm trees are... <laughs> look, look. <laughs> That's going out the wrong way. Come on now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the sails there. All right, let's get another idea. What, what else can we can, can we do with uh, crochet? So you can see how easy it is to see crocheted, and then comma. What would you like to see crocheted? Let's say armadillo. Comma. What kind of setting would you like to see it in? Um, Texas desert. background let's see what it does if you'd like some help trying to figure out how to how to create this little tool this little script that we have that kind of floats around the Leonardo community uh, just give a buzz and I'll help you as much as I possibly can oops that's not what I wanted to do I want to go in here with that alright artistic illustration of a crocheted armadillo standing proudly in the vast Texas desert landscape surrounded by cacti and desert flora utilize a vibrant color palette to showcase the intricacies of the crocheted armadillo and the desert's unique beauty Inspiration crocheted art, desert, tex, uh, Texas desert scenery. Again, this isn't a photo, so we're going to leave it on absolute reality because I just love using that. Prompt magic up 2.65 on version 3. Alchemy turned on. We'll keep it on dynamic. Um, we'll also keep this on landscape and hit generate. Let's see what the other one was here. A photorealistic one. Let's see. Photorealistic image featuring a crocheted armadillo in the heart of the Texas desert. With careful attention to detail of the crochet work, realistic desert elements would use warm natural lighting to capture the desert's warm, rugged charm. Inspiration, crochet craftsmanship, and desert environments. Let's change this to photography. <laughs> that was pretty cool. A little colorful there. <laughs> There's no tail. But yeah, you just kind of go through. This one's cute. You just kind of go through and that looks more like a rhino than a than an armadillo. Uh, so we're going to change. Let's, let's just, for the heck of it, do a photo reel, which is going to shut prompt magic off. We're going to leave it in, in low depth of field at cinematic. And, uh, and let's just see what this does. Actually, we'll do, we'll do four of each. Um, low, medium, and high depth of field so you can see the difference I'll turn that back off and go back to prompt magic make sure it's at 65 it is all right let's see around 27 or so these will pop in boom there we go <laughs> all right pretty cool again pretty cool I don't know what the horn thing's for. And I don't know what the head thing is there. So those are photo reels. This is also going to be a photo reel. That was uh, low. Here's medium. Very cool. Again with the, the nose horn. Strange. Strange head. It looks kind of anteaterish, and apparently it didn't do the 
high. So let's turn the high back up. Save that one. Hit generate. And now we'll turn that off and do prompt magic back on 0.65. So yeah, that didn't really work for us at all. Maybe that one there, but then there's like, you don't really have a tail. This one here is okay. That ridge along the back's a little strange. <laughs> That's just a real armadillo with the with a sleeping blanket is all that is <laughs> uh, well if you have a pet armadillo sleeping blankets for it can be made that's weird it's kind of half armadillo and half all right that one didn't really work did it so sometimes you just you, you can get into these issues where you get into a what i call token dumps or you'll just start spending and spending and spending and you'll never really get anywhere. Um, I got into a situation with that doing, a, trying to do a rendition of, uh, of that old Space Jam movie with Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. Well, the Disney characters, Marvel characters, whatever it was. I think it was Disney. And uh, trying to get AI to understand that there's a real person with comic characters all in the same scene it was a nightmare it just it took forever and forever to finally get an image that was somewhat passable um to be able to post and 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 it probably cost a good thousand tokens at least at least a thousand tokens to get done so but this will just give you an idea of exactly what goes on and 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 really really those those challenges aren't they're not necessarily about the image I mean yes the image matters but it's really first and foremost about your imagination right how creative can you really be I mean let's see let's see if we can find something else just just something random um, astronauts well look speaking of crocheted so let's let's just astronauts right what, what can we do astronaut related we already have crocheted let's try I don't know what stained glass astronauts spacewalk um, stars galaxies galaxies yeah this isn't it's turning all the uh, all the astronauts into stained glass but everything else is fine which isn't what I'm looking for um, Let's just see what it is. Why not? We're not losing anything. A couple of tokens. It's an artistic. We're going to leave it absolute reality on dynamic. 0.65. Let's see what it comes up with. I know there's something else I can see. Stained glass. Um... How about stained glass, elk, river? So that's pretty pretty trippy there. I mean, it's just a couple of astronauts on some stained glass, but huh? Be kind of a crazy, crazy world to walk on in no man's sky, wouldn't it? Or in What's that new one? Battlefield? Battle... What is it? I can't remember what it's called. Battlestar? That's pretty cool. <clears throat> what, 
we come up with here? Do that photorealistic one. No idea what it said. Just feel like doing a photorealistic. We'll put it on photo photography. Uh, stained glass elk gracefully adorning the riverside. It's intricate glass details glistening in the gentle sunlight. The realistic river setting is a breathtaking backdrop. Use soft natural lighting to capture the serene atmosphere. Inspiration stained glass craftsmanship, riverside beauty. Let's see what we can come up with here. We'll also put in this artistic one. Riverside Serenity, only because my dog's name is Serenity. So let's see what this one will do. We don't want it on photography. Let's put it on dynamic, absolute reality. Let's do this one in a vertical portrait style frame. Okay, that's interesting. Really cool. Hmm. Kind of took everything on the literal side of things, didn't it? Trippy. Let's see what it does in the. There we go. That's what we're talking about. So now we got full on. Full on stained glass. Yeah, that looks really good really cool so there you go you get the idea whatever you'd like to see I'll, and, and actually I have a I have an image that I could show you here real quick that I try and use in all of my prompts I made this for the Leonardo community so if this is the prompt a photograph showcasing the interior of the ancient cave with well-preserved cave drawings right so we have the image type a photograph description I call this id6 plus r, okay? Image type, description, style of art, inspiration, camera, shot, additional information, and your render, render info. So a photograph, and then your description, with the interior of an ancient cave with well-preserved cave drawings. The cave should have the appearance of being abandoned long ago to overgrown plants and vines. The image emphasizes the historical significance, right? Now art style realism documentary photography okay realism steampunk abstract whichever it doesn't you know whatever style of art you want to use now your inspirations art inspiration archaeological documentation okay they could be nature photography it could be it could be whatever your inspiration is now your camera DL, dslr high resolution weight uh, wide angle lens close up well i guess close up will be your shot but that's all kind of included, your camera and your shot. So DSLR, shot, wide shot, okay? Wide angle lens. If you want to use your particular lens, you'll put that with your camera. If you want to say, okay, it's a wide angle lens using, you know, doing close up photography, you would do that, okay? Um, same thing here, lens 24 millimeter. I just can include that with the camera and the shot. And then your render related information. Um, also, your additional information, you know, whatever details you want to pin in, the type of lighting you want to see, color grading, etc. Um, then you go into your render info, which will be your resolution, render style, etc. So high resolution, accurate representation, controlled lighting. Again, your controlled lighting can be up in your additional details as well, as well or you can keep it in your render info. Um, if you stick to this, to id6 plus r, if you stick to that frame, um, you're going to get pretty good images no matter what, okay? Without fail, you're going to find something that you're, you're going to be able to use. Uh, and usually without having to do a bunch of uh, additional work to make the images what you want them to be. Well, there we go. I look forward to seeing you out on the Discord server, and, uh, and I hope to see some of your images out there real soon. We'll see you soon. Take care.